Recently I hit number one bard, uh, solo, I hit demigod, um, so I wanted to throw this little guide together and talk about how I think the class is right now and how I think you should be building him. Um, he's definitely one of the weaker solo classes at the moment. There's only two demigod bards right now. If you look at a class like fighter, you'll see a lot more. Um, so he's definitely on the weaker side, but it's very doable. And that's mainly because of how AP works. You don't really need to fight if you don't want to. You can do a lot of running away and just not fighting people and a lot of looting and you can hit demigod pretty easily if you grind it out. Um, but you still do have to fight sometimes and I'm mainly just going to be talking about what build I found the most success with after a lot of trial and error. Uh, sorry if this is kind of sloppy, I, I'm just kind of going to talk about uh, how I went about it. Uh, also, if I'm coughing, sorry about that too, I'm a little sick. Um, but to start, the perks I used, I used Charismatic because it's kind of essential, just playing songs uh, faster by cancelling them. Super good, always want to use this. Rapier Mastery is also really good, um, 3 weapon damage. 5% action speed, can't go wrong with that, and Rapier is probably your best weapon anyway without this. Um, Storyteller, 3 knowledge for the memory, very useful, especially since uh, it's really hard to hit the stats you want to right now as Bard. Um, and the last one, Superior Dex, I feel like is kind of the most slept on uh, perk Bard has right now. Warsong can be okay, I used it a lot, but I think Superior Dex is a lot better. Um, my strategy with it is kind of just to use debuffs from, you know, the loot and flute. You have your crossbow and you have your throwables. Um, with Superior Dex, switching between all of those is 50% faster, which makes a huge difference when you're fighting someone like a fighter or barbarian. If they're chasing you down and you can quickly switch to your crossbow, shoot them, quickly switch to your loot, debuff them, flute, debuff them, and then throw axes at them, you're going to have a much easier time than if it's 50% slower. So I would definitely recommend superior decks over basically any other perk as your fourth slot. Uh, in terms of music, I mainly just use these seven songs. Um, Beats of Alacrity, very good for move speed. It's basically like having an extra pair of light foots on. Super good. Plus two all rising rhythms. Essential. Always want to run this. Uh, Ten physical power is very good from Ballad of Courage, mainly because you won't be able to build a ton of strength. So this allows you to hit the just a little bit above. Um, yeah, so my fizz power bonus is only 5% right now, but when I buff up, it'll probably be around 15%. Um, so that just helps to have that. Um, Area of Alacrity is really good for 8% action speed. Action speed and dexterity is one of Bard's best features, probably. Um, area, area of Alacrity has a lot to do with that. Um, so it's obviously really good to bring. Shriek of Weakness, super good for fighters and barbarians. More so fighters, because it's less risky to hit them with it, because they're slower. Um, and then you have Harmonic Shield. It's not as good as it used to be, but it's still definitely worth taking, just for a little more AR and MR. And then um, Lament is super good right now. Um, a lot of people are just going to be chasing you down. The main strat is barred right now is just to run away and chip them down with any ranged you have. And Lament shaves off about 7% move speed from anyone you're fighting. Super good. Super worth taking. Um, and so to go into the build, I kind of have like a benchmark of stats I always try to hit because it's pretty hard um, to build for everything. I usually try to hit 300 move speed, so after my buffs I'm around 312 uh, move speed, or like 104%, which does pretty good against fighters and barbarians, um, 
Rogues will still be able to chase you down. Fast Barbs will still chase you down for sure. Um, but after Lament, they'll have a tougher time. Um, but around 300 move speed is safe to build for. It's definitely better to go higher than this, but you should be okay at around 300. Um, HP, you should be going for around 120. It can be pretty tough to hit it. Right now I'm at 116, but this build isn't anything crazy. Um, around 120 is good. Um, and then I like building decks. Um, and that's mainly because you want to be able to debuff people quickly. And the faster you play your songs, the faster you can debuff people. The faster you can buff yourself so you can loot as much as possible. Um, and it gives you action speed. So I think dex is pretty good for bard. I used to not build it as much, but you start out with a lot. And you have wanderer's attire, cloth pants. Um, I think these are pretty good options. You can also wear loose trousers or adventurer's tunic if you want to. Um, I hardly ever use padded tunic just because of the big move speed penalty. If you have a crazy build like this, you might be able to pull it off, but I would prefer move speed just because even with a crazy build, a decently kitted barbarian or fighter is still going to be pretty threatening. Um, so I prefer move speed so I can kind of work around them, just run for the most part. Um, and then you want to build around 17 or 18 memory uh, because after plus two all from rousing, after plus three knowledge from storyteller, and after whatever your memory bonus and knowledge is on your loot, you don't really have to be, um, you don't have to have that much memory cap. So I usually go for around 18. And then after all those buffs, I get to Lament, and that's all I really care about. The last three songs, if you do want more songs than that, I would probably bring Trank, Song of Shadow, Unchained if you really want it. Um, but lockpicks are pretty easy to get right now. Um, you mainly just want to be looting as much as possible, breaking as many boxes. Drum is great for breaking boxes. And then if you do have to fight someone... You play move speed on them, you play with your crossbow, you got throwing weapons, and definitely make use of the fact that you can use both throwing axes and knives. So I always buy both of these. Um, you probably will be dropping them as you loot, but it's definitely worth taking them for when you do get in a fight, which will probably happen every raid. Um, or if you get a bad spawn and can't loot a lot, sometimes it's better just to try to kill someone for AP, get what they have. Um, and then in general, you definitely want to have your quests done so you can be buying stuff like this. Uh, purples and blues in the shop, especially the tailor and the leathersmith. You can make a lot of money just flipping uh, stuff from the shop. Like this, I think I bought this for 80 gold, this for 90 gold, and I could probably pretty easily get 250 gold for this. Um, yeah. So, it takes a lot of gold to build a good set with bards, so just flipping gear from the shop is very useful. Um, just to keep your gold up a lot, and uh, build better kits. Gold cloak is probably the best thing you can run with bard but from my experience whenever i run it basically the whole lobby uh will run you down so it's usually not that fun of a time i think something like this can do just fine if you play passive uh, run away for the most part because you don't need to fight Your main goal is just to loot get away from people fight if you really have to use every ranged uh Thing you have to your advantage and that's about it uh, if you have any questions let me know I'll try to answer them and thanks for watching